feel sorry. We want to make sure that teachers know that you do have another option. Right now in schools, it is not safe to be a teacher. This was the most preventable mass murder in American history. Less than 30 seconds it was done. And my daughter was murdered at the school. It doesn't matter whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, you're a mom and a dad first. If we lose this battle on the educational front, then we lose not only our country, but we lose our kids. And we lose the ability to bring our children up the way that we want them. They are assaulting parental rights. They are not respecting our cultures, our values. They're not respecting our voice. The reality is we're not dissenters. We're the parents. So the question has to be asked. So this is what we would ask you to do. Um, teachers are funding the radical agenda that's destroying our country, but they don't know it. And other government employees who are funding corrupt government unions are also funding the destruction of our country. They've funded Biden and his whole regime. They're funding defund the police, abolish ICE, uh, boys dominating girls sports, you name it these uh, corrupt government unions are funding it. So what we ask people to do is on at our um, website for kidsandcountry.org, you can click on join the movement and on that landing page, there's all kinds of ways to help uh, get people out of these unions. So we focus mostly on teachers. We ask you to adopt a teacher, put your arm around them. We can, you can learn how to adopt a teacher in a few minutes on our website. But basically, you're educating them, empowering them, take them to the movie, hand them a copy of my book, anything, get them on our website so they can learn the truth about their unions. And um, once you've adopted them, then help them to leave the union. And our website has a union exit where you, we actually help them step by step. We answer their questions because they've been deceived. Um, they think that they're going to lose everything if they leave the union. It's just not true. So we actually help them with the steps of opting out, getting alternative liability insurance. And so our big goal is to get teachers out of unions. Um, my big goal is to make government unions illegal. That's the longer fight. Uh, yeah. So the movie and the book are both tools for educating teachers, parents, so that they can learn who's causing all these problems in our country. It's government unions. The CDC is unionized. Think about that. Think about the election fraud and how the, uh, the um, post office is involved and how the DMV is where you actually register to vote, right? All unionized. So these unions are having tentacles in, in our agencies and in our institutions, and we need to get them out. So that's our main goal. So uh, you can find out about the movie at whosechildrenarethey.com. If you don't live around here, you can type in your zip code and it'll tell you the closest theater. And um, we just hope that you will help us to educate parents and teachers. And I heard that the school choice folks are going to be gathering at the theaters and getting signatures. Did you have a question? Not appropriate for children. Oh, thank you. This movie is not appropriate for children. Even though they're teaching these things in our public schools, it's not appropriate. So don't bring anyone under 18 to the movie. Okay, and then Greg, you want me to do Q and A? You still want me to do that? Please. Anybody have a question? Now I understand why Carol always has to do this. I don't see any hands. You have a question? 
Basically, you put your arm around them, you empathize with them, everything's going so lousy in the schools, I want to educate you a little bit. Now they're enlightened that it's their union that's causing all the problems with the fox and the hen house, and now you can power with them, stand with them, and help them opt out of the union, because we want them to to stop paying the union. They used to be forced to pay. Now they're still forced to accept their representation, but they don't have to pay. So you can help them with that process. And part of adopting a teacher is educating them. And that's why I wrote the book, to educate them. The movie, same thing. Take them to the movie and let them learn. The more they find out if they're a real teacher, the more they find out what's going on, the faster they'll want to run out of you know, the unions. And then some of them might want to leave the public schools too. Another thing we have on our, uh, our landing page, uh, Join the Movement, is school options. There's dozens of school options out there. It's not just homeschool or public school or private school. All kinds of other options for teachers and parents. So that's all part of the teacher. Thank you. Charles, will you help him real quick? Thank you. Some point, some point, 
that for their good things that they are to reach your children. If you're not speaking up and holding up your hand and opposing it, you are a flat Amen. Amen. I agree. I'm going to address both of those things she said. So, Jan, first of all, um, yeah, those horrible things are happening in a lot of school boards, and that's tyranny. What they're doing to parents is tyranny, and the students. The masks are tyranny. It's, it's all this ploy to uh, rob us of our freedoms and to make us good little collectivists. So keep on fighting it, and I really think we can win it at the grassroots level. School board up, not so much from the top down. I mean, we need both, but I think the grassroots is really key. And then the, the comment about teachers. Jan, I agree with you. I have spoken out for years, and the majority of teachers wouldn't say a word. The reason they don't is because they're terrified. So this whole cancel culture and um, you know, just the mafia tactics that are used on people, those have been used on teachers now for decades. So they're terrified. But this is why we have the Adopt-a-Teacher program, because teachers feel alone. They're in this system, this very corrupt system, controlled by unions who use mafia tactics. So if we start standing with teachers and truly adopting them, we give them the strength to stand up. They're not alone anymore. So that's why I asked for that, and I'm suddenly really excited because the, the COVID is not only opening the eyes of parents, it's opening the eyes of teachers. I've been working with hundreds of them in the underground, and I'm training them, and they are ready to make a mass union exit. And they're doing this because the unions won't defend them against the experimental jabs and the masks, and they won't defend the children. So they're starting to see the truth about the unions. So adopt those teachers, give them strength. Most, of, most teachers are conservatives. Most of them are people of faith. The unions only give voice to the radicals. So those are the only ones you hear about. So let's stand up. Great questions, Jane. Thank you for all the questions. Thank you, Rebecca. And Thank you.